Okay, I'm uh, wrapping up this video with part two here. I'm just a continued part of, of a video I did the other day on the, the wrinkle zone, the abrupt transition there on the coast. I'll show you where I'm at. I'm out of uh, Seal Rock, still in the same spot, out of Walport, Oregon. And uh, out of this Leviathan I've been trying to piece together. I've been right in here. Uh, this is a small town of Walport. Where'd it go? Somewhere here. Oh, right here. That's Walport. And I'm right here. Seal Rock, which is actually not Seal Rock. Um, I did the last few videos on this side and on this side. I'm going to turn this. Come in at this angle. But my last video was right in here along all this. This whole thing runs out into the ocean. I believe this is an attachment coming off of uh, the, the creature, like uh, something that flexes. Um, this, there's a, the pieces I had right in here that I did a video on. And then Scott Wilds, the stuff he found that we uh, went and did a video on was right here. And um, as you can see, yeah, right here, this thing stretches out into the ocean, it curves. So this is all one piece and um, part of the body. Um, I have found the bone, I believe. I was talking to Roger and he said he, the bone would be underneath all this uh, stuff. And in this video I got, I'm showing you, I'm standing on, I believe the bone is right in here and it runs right out underneath all the sand, which is skin, and runs right out underneath all this. And it also runs right up underneath the seawall. I'll show you what I mean. I believe the bone is right, this is exposed right along in here and you can see it. I stand on it and I tell you about it in this video. And it runs right out underneath all this. It looks like from the angle it's about 100 feet down from what I can see here in the video to where the base of the bone would be. So it's, it's really thick down there. Anyway, it's just, it's just incredible. Me and my wife are talking. What's amazing is only 76 people have looked at it. <laughs> you got 6 billion people on the planet and no one even knows what's going on. It's kind of sad, but... All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, going to be in here finishing up on the video, the continued uh, footage of what I had. So thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll get going on this. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, here's a really good spot where you can see the abrupt transition. Really good. You can see it all, and it goes right up to that. See the vertical lines? Now I was using that in one of my videos, the Devil's Tower as an example. I was using the verticalness of it as an example, not Devil's Tower itself and this being like Devil's Tower. This is nothing like Devil's Tower. This is not a foot. This is actually much bigger. It's part of something else. Connect. Now look at this. I can get right up to it. Here is a really good picture of abrupt transition. And the wrinkle zone. And then it's gone. You know why it's gone? Because that's the weaker part. This is the tougher part, I believe. I would imagine this is the this stuff is super tough in our bodies. Always right. oh, finding more and more. Well, hello there, Mr. Little Abrupt Transition. How are you? There's more of an abrupt transition. Come over here and see all the individual pieces, just like all of it. Now, see how that curves up? Now the sun's in the way. That curves up towards that. See, I believe all this was one huge, massive tendon and muscle. That's what I'm starting to think now. Okay, here's more of it here. Same stuff, same thing going on. It's all broke off or eroded away. Okay, here's
here's more of the abrupt transition. Gonna run out of an SD card very pretty soon. I've got a lot of footage on here. Okay, I gotta stop walking. All right, look at this chunk. On oh, a wrinkly on top. Look at that. The rest is gone. Okay. Okay, these are the last pieces I'm going to of the transition today. I'm going to get on out of here. Well, I'm going to try to see if Roger will look at this one. This is a good transition. You don't have to look at it, you can stand on it and kiss it and hug it. Alright. Okay, that's about the last piece I can get to. There's another piece of transition right there. That's cool, you can see where that's gone. It all just snapped right off. Huh. I didn't notice that from the other direction. Yeah, just all eroded away or whatever came right off. You can see it there. And I'm quite a ways out from land now. This thing curves out away from the land I was clear back over there earlier this morning and this is this is about the end of it I'm gonna head back over and go home and make some video and get all excited and I hope you do too because this is the most real thing I've seen yet I mean this is incredible plus I got some more video I took up the coast the other day at Depot Bay so I'll be bringing it to you too a lot of videos coming so stay tuned have a great day. Bye-bye now. Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to show you before I sign off here or whatever. This here, that runs up underneath the beach, or the, this cliff, this solid piece right here, it's in all my videos I've known. This is what correlates, this is what connects everything to everything. This solid bedrock here that runs down underneath the sand, underneath that stuff. That stuff, that, those tendon instances are anchored to this. So whatever this is, whether it be a bone, the fascia on a bone, I don't know. That is connected to it through the tendon instances, or, or that transition is connected to this. And up there was Scott Wilde, uh, uh, that find he had. Uh, is this uh, a Leviathan? Or a, or is this the beach or a Leviathan? Oh, I can't remember my video, it don't matter. Th that was there too. This is in all my videos that runs underneath everything. So that's got to be the main, a bone or whatever it is, I don't know. I'm starting to think that, I don't know how, but somehow some of the bone survived. Um, or that's just the synovial membrane on the bone which I'm starting to think maybe that's what it is. I don't know, man. I'll try to see if... Roger's so busy right now with this college uh, and this guy with the 21 universities that he's pretty hard to get hold of and to check things out. So uh, we just have to try to figure out some of this stuff on our own. So I'm just not sure yet. All right, thank you.